Hi guys, this is Larry Reynolds again from my personal training and weight loss studio in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Tonight we're going to show you how to intensify the barbell curl. We're going to do what we call the perfect barbell curl. Now here at my studio we practice high intensity training. Arthur Jones style high intensity training. Let me give you an idea how most people do their curl. You can go to any gym and you're always going to see a guy with way too much weight on the bar and he's going to swing the bar up and he's going to let it flop back down. He's going to swing it up, he's going to let it flop back down. Now anybody that knows anything can, will realize that about the only thing that he's working is maybe his glutes and his lower back and maybe some thigh for stabilizing. We're going to show you tonight how to isolate your biceps and how to get that bicep to do about 99% of the work. Okay? So, and in the next several videos, we're going to show you several other ways to uh, even increase that intensity. Now, if you don't know what high intensity is all about, high intensity has got to be three things. High intensity training with weights has got to be three different things. It's got to be, of course, intense, it's got to be brief, and it's got to be infrequent. So let's put it another way. Every single exercise you do, as Arthur Jones would say, try to find a way that, to make that exercise harder. Never try to find ways to make the exercise easier. That's what most of us do. We go to the gym, that's why this guy's throwing it up and down. He's making the exercise easier. He's using momentum. Momentum is our enemy when we're building muscle, okay? So I have one of my trainers here, Zach Stewart. We're gonna show you how we do barbell curls at Larry Reynolds Affordable Personal Training and Weight Loss Center. Okay, Zach, are you ready? Ready, let's go. Now, generally speaking, first thing we want to do is brace. Brace the body. Either the, the upper back or the hips have got to be in contact with a brace at all times. Inside of a door jam works great. Okay, we're going to take about, yeah, we're going to stretch the bicep. Notice how he rolls it into his fingertips. Curl the wrist up. Now two seconds up. Squeeze one second. Three to four seconds down. Now let it roll into the fingertips, curl the wrist, one, two, squeeze, and now one, two, three, four, down, rolls into the fingertips, curl the wrist, one, two, squeeze the biceps, now one, two, three, four, down. Do a couple more like that, like that, Zach. Now squeeze the contraction, don't go too high or you're going to get a rest. Just right, stretch it all the way, don't go halfway down. Two seconds up, squeeze, and then three to four seconds down, roll it into the fingertips, curl the wrist up, squeeze it, and all the way down. We'll stop there. Now it's important, guys and girls, that we do this to failure, all right? Another thing Arthur Jones used to say is, the only rep in the set that's going to make that muscle thicker and stronger is the last rep that you can just barely squeeze out, but in perfect form. We're not talking about cheating. Now cheating has its place. But you're only going to cheat after you've reached exhaustion or failure doing perfect reps. Then you might step out and throw the bar up two or three times and let it down real slow. Okay? Now, in the next video, we're going to teach you how to intensify the barbell curl even more. Okay? So stay tuned.